Hey there, YouTube. It's your boy B3. Back with another kicking. Yeah. Graphic novel review. Today we're looking at Hulk, Volume 5, Fall of the Hulks. It's from the 2008 to 2013 Hulk run. Let me give you a read up at the back of the book here. Hulks will fall. But who will take the biggest fall of all? The Red Hulk and Bruce Banner form an uneasy alliance to defeat a conspiracy bent on taking down the U.S. government. But will they destroy each other before they can triumph? Guest starring Thor, Captain America, the X-Men, Black Panther, and the Fantastic Four, and more. Fall of the Hulks starts with the death of a Hulk legend and rockets to the most mind-bending, incredible end. Collecting Hulk 19 through 21 and Fall of the Hulks Gamma, written by Jeff Loeb and illustrated by Ed McGinnis and John Ramita Jr., I love how Ed McGinnis draws the Hulks. I think it's amazing. I think John Romita Jr. does some good art, too. I just hate how square everybody's heads are. <laughs> he he draws some square-headed motherfuckers. <laughs> Anyhow, let's get into the book itself. So it starts with the Red Hulk killing General Thunderbolt Ross, seemingly in self-defense. But then it turns out that it was actually a plan. Banner told Red Hulk that he had to kill Ross in order for them to be able to defeat the Intelligentsia. Of course, I've read a bit farther ahead, and I know that's partially true, but Banner also had interior, all, 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 all ulterior motives. Uh, so they have a real big, a real big uh, funeral for Ross and whatnot. And uh, we see that the Thunder Hulk daughter from the future now uh, is working with the Intelligentsia. And I gotta say, Loeb did it to us again. I'm about to give big spoilers for future books here. Um, but the Red Hulk's identity is General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. That's pretty common knowledge. Uh, the Red Hulk is kind of a household character now, as he should be. Uh, but that mystery was revealed to us many years ago. <laughs> Even though it took almost two years, I think, to reveal who it was. Maybe even a little over two years. It's hard to remember. But Thunderbolt Ross is Red Hulk. And it was a life model decoy, a S.H.I.E.L.D. LMD, that was running around as Thunderbolt Ross so that people wouldn't think the Red Hulk and Ross were the same. But killing Ross kind of allowed Red Hulk a lot of freedom to act. Uh, but Banner also wanted him to kill Ross so that he could never take his life back. It was kind of an ultimate revenge, because it's been shown a lot in Marvel Comics over the years that when Banner is without the Hulk, he's kind of almost a bad guy. Like, he's mean and he's scheming, and we've seen books where he was separated from the Hulk and became like a Gamma Dr. Moreau. And it was even talked about in Immortal Hulk, uh, does the Hulk exist to protect us from Banner? Uh... That, I think, was also posited in the uh, Donny Cates run. I think that's right at the beginning of the Starship Hulk stuff. They ask that question, because he's also a huge dick in that book. But it was kind of a double-edged sword for Ross and just really helped Banner get away with a lot. Uh, but this book also kind of reveals that Betty <coughs> is still alive. Excuse me. And that the intelligence he has working with Ghost and his super apes and then this big awesome android... Uh, the Wizard. The Wiz is a different villain. The Wizard <laughs> is who I wanted. But the Intelligentsia, like, takes down the Fantastic Four, and the Red Hulk is, like, wants the Intelligentsia to succeed in a weird way, but not... It's, it's very complicated. There's this huge conspiracy. The Intelligentsia wants to capture all the smartest men alive, like Reed Richards, who they capture, and then they capture a beast, as well as T'Challa, Black Panther... Uh, when they invade Wakanda during Storm's birthday. Really, uh, really like that part. Ghost and his super apes are fun. <laughs> I really enjoy them a lot. And we get to see how Red Hulk and, uh, found Banner. Uh, and it shows us that Banner knows exactly who he really is. Etc. There's like this cosmic Hulk robot. There's a lot of punching. There's a lot of punching, and it should there should be. But, like, 
the Avengers show up and the X-Men and Fantastic Four all show up onto this helicarrier that was wrecked in Volume 1. You'll remember. And then the Intelligentsia steals Red Hulk's energy and broadcasts it down to a bunch of AIM soldiers that they turn into Red Hulks. So, because Red Hulk, through this whole run, has been absorbing more and more and more and more energy, has not been transforming back in the human form and just storing it so that he can fight with it. But then, the Intelligentsia was kind of manipulating him into doing this. So, that he could power a bunch of Red Hulks. And then they also turn all these superheroes into Hulks. And many of them have very cool Hulk forms. But Red Hulk also uses Deadpool as a plan B. Deadpool has a Hulk form too, which isn't as interesting as everybody else's. Captain America has a weird one because it's Bucky Cap and his robotic arm grows and changes. I don't get that. Thor looks almost Zeus-esque. Uh, Captain Marvel is just kind of like a, well, Miss Marvel now is like a big red She-Hulk. But Storms is really cool. Cyclops has this freaky, it's got like all these different eyes. The thing looks about how you would expect. And it ends there, right before that big, big battle. We've got some really, a really cool cover gallery in the back. You know, I'm a big fan of cover galleries, as well as a lot of uh, the in-progress art and whatnot. But none of the little kind of newspapery uh, Hulk comics. But it was very good. I preferred McGinnis's art over Romita Jr.'s, but they're both pretty good. Uh, Romita Jr. is also known for work on the Hulk. I believe he did a lot of. Uh, World War Hulk stuff. I remember this, his Sentry uh, Hulk fight. But this is a good book. It's a really good book. It's There's a lot of fighting, but there's also a lot of intrigue. And it's really hard to balance that out, uh, especially in a Hulk book. And I think Loeb did it well. I think Loeb was pretty well suited for the Hulk. But that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. Uh, I don't know what we'll be doing next time, but soon we will be doing Hulk Volume 6 World War Hulks. Plural. That's it. Thank you all once again. See you all next time. Bye for now.